Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Now, our brother, they talk, we do governorship election, no? and I was still finish it because when they declare say Senator Monday win, it shocked many people. They say Senator Monday win, as as how, how did it happen? As how is as as how it happen? So that question, so that question I asked, so they many people leave. They say they try to understand it. Say, you sure say now what it happen? Now it happen so. So everybody just, they say they look up, they look around. As we call the see so now the the observers, they release damning reports. They don't release one very report. You know, some of our first come and say, we say they observed the adult governorship election results. It was not perfect, but it was good. They have a raw rating, say there is no need to cancel the election. Say to a large extent, the election was done with much, with much credibility, transparency, and they can say 70% they vouch for the result that it was accurate and how it was supposed to be. So the, again, another set of observers don't release very dimming and damning uh, you know, reports that may affect APC in court. Not forget, say PDP say that they go challenge the result for court. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. A do governorship election. Another group of observers release damning reports that will that may affect APC when PDP takes them to court. According to Vanguard, the recent Edo governorship election, which saw Senator Monde Pablo of the All Progressive Congress declared winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has sparked continuous controversies and outrage in many quarters. Why the APC and its supporters has defended the results, the two major opposition candidates, Dr. Igo Dalo of the People's Democratic Party and Mr. Lumide Akbata of the Labour Party, alongside with their supporters, have vigorously challenged the outcome, saying there were discrepancies. The dispute has also drawn attention from election observers group report from different from Yago Africa and Action Aid Nigeria has highlighted concerns about the integrity of the electoral process. Yago Africa, in his report signed by Dr. Aisha Abdurrahim, chairman of the 2024 Edo Election Mission and Executive Director Samson Etodo, pointed out inconsistencies in the results and raise questions about the transparency of the vote tallying process. Action Aid Nigeria, through his country director, Andrew, expressed similar concerns. Yago Africa report significantly noted that the election failed integrity tests and standard, citing issues such as irregularity in the collation of the results. Those this criticism have added weight to the opposition challenge of the election outcome, intensifying the debate over credibility of the vote. As controversies unfold, both local and international observers continue to monitor the situation. Meanwhile, another group of observers, which was put together by INEC, it was supposed to be an independent group, has come out to say the election was... 70% credible, transparent, not perfect, but was good. And there is no need for any cancellation as the demeaning reports continue to surface with evidences of manipulation, votes buying during the election. Everyone is waiting patiently to see what defense PDP have against APC that may or possibly swing the results already been announced or challenge the certificate of return given to Senator Monday to be given back to another. So these are the various concerns being raised from different quarters as a result of the election, as different observers of the observing groups are bringing their own perspective in terms of what has happened during this election. The, one, the group of say, Nigeria government set up, which is INEC, where they set up, they say the election go away. Oh, that there is no cause, there is no cause to alarm. That the election was one of the best. If I have 70% transparency, it was not perfect, but it was good. My dear, another group, now you hear, you go Africa, and another independent group does say, they check, you know, the accredited vote and the number of votes, everything, the thing just dabaru, you know, different, different number. The numbers not align. See, unless human being ready to impute the true data's, even computer is called garbage in, garbage out. 
Now, what you feed the system with not go report back to you. You they see answer. So if somebody go there, even if they use a baby vessel, we they use a high level, that they are the voters accreditation process, so register or not register. Listen, listen, listen. Mm? Oh, this one a long talk. Say long talk, not long talk. If if are you there, me so if these very people, this set of people, they're not agreed or they're not they ready to do anything they call transparency. Eh? Listen, if they're not ready to do anything called transparency. They go fill in any hard results, any hard results, and at the same thing, I go come inside. So who will they deceive? And the more serious note, who will they deceive? Can we continue to tell ourselves lies and think that truth will surf suddenly surface? It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. It doesn't. So whether you like it or not, so problem day already. Problem day grand. Problem day grand. So my people, how you see them? How you see these things? These are poss possibilities, you know, of a uh, different, different uh, line of actions that are going on where everybody needs to, you know, begin to ask themselves real questions. If this is what, you know, if this is what it's all about, all we want to see, how do we begin to translate? How do we begin to ensure that the truth is manifested in all of this? Because many of these people will provide for body so. They never get the, the, the right or the, they never get anything, you know, of, of this uh, nation for their mind or their heart. All that they do now for me, myself, and I. So the truth be say, until Nigeria is ready to tell themselves the truth, we may not be able to really get this truth. So it is what it is. You see, and so, so my people, more and not forget, so we must, we must align together. Okay, may we stand together as one against bad governance. Most of these people, they don't care for this nation. No? Eh? They don't care. Please don't forget, every one of us has something to contribute. You go, yes, say, one man, we don't even go to school where? Those T billions. Eh? See, a batch of that day. When, when, they see, when they thief hide, we never even know where Sunday. And flood still day on. Children still go to bed hungry, to mention but a few. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. So you can get all our latest news. Remember, I say you get voice. God bless. Bye for now. Every one of us must continue to speak out what is true, what is honest, and what is sincere. Failure to do so will allow evildoers to continue to manifest. Bye.